Let's get more on this now with Simon Clark, who joins us from Reading in the UK. He's an associate professor in microbiology at the University of Reading. Good to have you back with us, Professor. Firstly, I'd like to get your thoughts on these gradual easing and lifting of restrictions that we're seeing in countries like Spain, states like New York and the United States and other areas. Do you think it's time to do this? Is it safe for these restrictions to be lifted? Well, certainly, if numbers of infections are decreasing and doing so consistently, then it becomes difficult to justify to people why they have to have their lives restricted. So I understand that from a political perspective. But often we don't really understand or get any indication from government as to why they're doing it. And it's often impossible, frankly, to see the, the scientific justification for why certain measures need to be lifted and not others at certain times and not others. Um, if you take, for example, the, the mandatory wearing of masks outside uh, in Spain, uh, because it was outside, it seems impossible to see what effect it actually would ever have had. So removing it probably doesn't have any effect either. Yes, and what about the, the general uh, the cases of Omicron that we're seeing ac across the globe? It's often been characterised as a less uh, perhaps deadly strain of the virus, even though it is more contagious. Uh, are we at the end of the peak of Omicron infections, do you think? Uh, it's possible, um, but never say never with this thing. Uh, and, of course, because a lot of people... Uh, have the virus and have been infected and are going to get infected as well, um, th th there is the possibility, the likelihood even, of troublesome new variants coming along. Uh, every time a person is infected, a new variant or new variants are generated. It's just merciful that very, very rarely that they, they uh, are able to cause a problem. And the fewer deaths and hospitalizations that we are seeing from Omicron, particularly in Western countries, has been attributed to the fact that we are seeing vaccination rates pick up. Uh, some countries are even doling out their fourth doses, as we're seeing in Israel. But much of the rest of the world is still unvaccinated. Do countries uh, that outside of the Western sphere, do they need to be vaccinated in order for this pandemic truly to go away now? Oh, definitely. Vaccination is, is really important. It will drive down transmission drastically, I think. It won't eliminate it, but it will drive it down. And um, that reduces the chances of, of uh, troublesome new versions coming along. But uh, other parts of the world definitely need to be vaccinated. OK. And what is your outlook for the pandemic going forward? Is 2022 going to look a lot better than previous years? Have we seen the worst of this pandemic? Well, if we get the vaccines rolled out to parts of the world that haven't yet seen it, then yes. But we need to do that. We need to do that soon. Leaving it to the end of the year isn't going to, uh, to give us a good 2022. Um, so that's key to this. We don't know how the virus will evolve. We hear a lot of stuff about viruses want to become less pathogenic. They want to cause less disease. That's total rubbish. Um, they can become more or less able to cause disease. And no virus ever wanted to do anything. OK, Simon Clark from the University of Reading. A pleasure, as always, to get your analysis. Thank You're you welcome. for that.